In this example, we want to find three positive numbers, let's call those x, y, and z, whose sum is 45 and the product is a minimum. Okay, so uh, let's define our variables. Okay, so let x, y, and z be or represent positive numbers. Okay, so our the minimum are the, the we want the uh, we want to let m okay so we're going to let m be the product okay so of x times y times z so this is what we want to minimize okay okay so that is our uh, that is our primary equation okay our constraint. Our constraint is that we want the sum of x, y, and z to be 45. Okay, so we have x plus y plus z equals to 45. So this is our constraint. Okay. So we are going to use what we want to use our constraint. Okay, to rewrite. The, to re rewrite m in terms of x and y. Okay, so from our constraint, okay, we can solve for z. So z is going to be equal to 45 minus x minus, five, uh, minus y. So we're going to substitute that back into m. So we're going to get x times y times z. Okay. So this is going to give us uh, 45 x y minus x squared y minus x y squared. Okay. So that is that is what we want to minimize now. So to do this, we need to take the partials of m with respect to x and y. So the partial m with respect to x. Okay, so treating x as a variable and y as a constant, that's going to give us 45y minus, let's see, 2xy minus uh, y squared. Okay, and then we take the partial m with respect to y. So treating x as the constant and y as the variable. So we're going to get 45x minus x squared minus 2xy. Okay. So now we're going to take the uh, set these partials equal to zero. Okay. And then solve for x and y. Uh, so let's simplify this a little bit. So for the first one. Okay, we can factor out at y. So we're going to get 45 minus 2x minus y. Okay, for the second one, we can factor out an x. So we get 45 minus x minus 2y. Okay. All right. Okay, so now we're going to set okay, each of these equal to 0. So we have y times 45 minus 2x minus y. Set this equal to 0. The other one we have x times 45 minus x minus 2y equals to 0. Okay. All right. So if we let x and y be 0, then we're going to get those. Are, that's going to be. Uh, that's going to give us something that works, okay? I mean, satisfies the equation. However, we want we don't want that because we want. Remember that these uh, the the numbers that we're working with, they have to be positive, okay? All right. Okay, so zero is not a positive value. Okay, so we need to work with these two equations. Okay. 
Okay, so we have 45 minus 2x minus y equals a 0, uh, and 45 minus x minus 2y equals a 0. So I'm going to call this equation 1, and this is equation 2. Okay. Okay, so uh, first one we have 2x plus y equals to 45. The second one we have x plus 2y equals to 45. Okay. Okay, so solving this, okay, we can use elimination, substitution, or matrices. Uh, so solving this, we end up getting, okay, the solution for this is going to be uh, x equals to 15 and y is equal to 15. Okay, so I'll let y'all uh, verify that. Okay, that'll be a good practice. Okay, so we have x and y. So now to get z, we simply substitute, we substitute x and y back into our constraint. Okay. So z is equal to 45 minus x minus y. So we're going to get 45 minus 15 minus 15. That's going to give us 15. Okay. All right. So, okay. That is our uh, solution. Okay. So then, so those are the, those are the three numbers. Okay. Um, whose sum is 45 and at the same time the product is a minimum. Okay. So it's going to be x is 15, y is 15, and z is 15. Okay. So one thing you should do is also verify, just make sure double check uh, that these are the minimum. Okay, and you can use the first the first derivative, uh, the first derivative test that we talked that was discussed in the other video. Okay, using that uh, d formula. Okay, so that'll be a good practice. Okay.